and welcome back to my film and TV channel and we're going over to Netflix today a Spanish import again today yes we know what Netflix are like yeah, for every every UK US uh, film or series they tend to be at least at least one foreign language or, or perhaps even more seems like it anyway so we're going to have to look at uh, 106 minutes long something called the chalk line yeah please if you are new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notifications if you've watched this let me know what you think about it It'd be great to hear from you and of course, I do all this film reviews, movie dra movie TV drama reviews, uh, information vlogs. So it'd be great to have you on board and uh, your support. Much appreciated. Please, if you do get a chance, just give, give us a thumbs up as well. I'll try and inform and entertain if I can. There's not a lot of critics uh, or sort of what we call the main critics out here on this one. It's uh, Yeah, it's been out for a little while. But there's not many people seemingly watching it from the big papers and big magazines and big websites etc but uh, we'll have a quick look at it anyway so it's the short line a 15 certificate a spanish horror mystery and psychological thriller perhaps it if it concentrated perhaps on one of those it might have been a little bit better as uh, say there are elements of it of, of all three of those things uh, i wouldn't have been happy just it being a psychological thriller and not try to be everything to all men Directed by a guy called Ignacio Tate in his feature debut. Stars Elena Anaya. So a lot of faces I'm not familiar with. Uh, probably if you watch Spanish films, you, you may be. I've watched a few Spanish films recently, but uh, none spring to mind. I did watch the dub version. I didn't watch the subtitle version. So, yeah, not the greatest. It's okay. It's okay. Not the, not the greatest dub version I've ever watched. Uh, a couple of scores here is at the 28th of October 2022 at 4 p.m. UK time. Rotten Tomatoes audience quite like it. Yeah, there's no breakdown of the figure, but there's a 63% positivity, which is fine. Internet Movie Database, very similar. Almost 900 scores and reviews have been left, and it's averaging 6.1 out of 10. I do expect that perhaps to drop just a little bit, but anything around 6 out of 10 uh, is my little watchable rating, so I'm happy with that. And if you take the stats, if you go and look at the breakdown of it, take out the 10 out of the 10s and the 1 out of 10s, which are uh, sort of skewing the figures, you still get a 74% positivity, so all well and good. And this is set in a residential area of high-class villas. And one night, Paula and her husband find, find a wandering girl, yes, wandering, who's obsessed with a purported monster that will allegedly haunt her once she crosses a chalk square drawn on the soil. Uh, the couple pledge to foster care the girl on a temporary basis. Yeah, don't you? It's not one you can think too much about, about this, uh, all of a sudden fostering this girl from nowhere, uh, Perhaps, perhaps the Spanish social services is a little bit different to ours. I'm not too sure. But uh, just go with the flow. Don't try and think too much about the intricacies of it. Uh, yeah, name and shame. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, actually. There's only about five reviews been left. But it's getting a 60% positivity. So, again, just about watchable. So, let's name and shame or name and acclaim. Very mixed response. Very even split down the middle, more or less. Marshall Schaefer, he's from Decider website. He said the focus on vibes over storytelling starts to have diminishing returns once the plot starts having to explain the strangeness and the thinly developed characters are just not particularly persuasive. Yeah, just nothing really to the characters uh, investment wise in this one. John Suja, he's from Common Sense Me, just said this disturbing drama is strongly acted. Okay, well, certainly not perhaps sort of the dub, dubbed actors weren't as good as the original, so if you do watch this with subtitles, it might it might, have, it might be better presented. He goes on to say, piece together well and thrilling to the end. However, a few small issues keep the chalk line from being great. Well, I certainly agree with that last sentiment from John there. Randy Meeks from Espinoff, which is a Spanish site, says... Creates a mysterious atmosphere, sinister and paranoid inducing. Yeah, I'd say there are good elements in this, uh, but yeah, not all, not all the time. The script builds up the tension, though perhaps doesn't though doesn't sustain it enough through the end. Well, I thought the end was the best bit, but it was perhaps the getting to the end. M. M. Miller from Ready Steady Cut said the short line had promise, but ultimately succumbs to an uneven script and an ending that plays it too safe. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is one of those endings that you go, oh, okay. Um, you 
even though the build up to it was was quite uh, for me the best part of the film. As I said, uh, my little thoughts uh, before we go. Score wise, I'm just going to give it a five out of ten. I'm going to give it a score. It's, it's certainly worth a score because there are elements in this that were okay, were fine, but you sort of watch it. I'll, I'll soon forget it. I won't even remember it tomorrow. Now, as I've, I've watched it, I finished watching it a couple of hours ago. I certainly I'm not going to go out and start recommending it to everyone. But in in here is there there is a pretty good chiller in here, but it never really explores or delivers on a, on a regular basis, and it can never really. Is it a thriller? Is it a drama? Is it a horror? It never, it never quite sort of gets into a pocket, you know, that you can put it in. Is that is apparently? I mean, I, I don't know of it. I've watched it, and I, obviously, a lot of people, and not just one, a few people commented that it's based. Uh, the, the story's familiar to them, and it's uh, based. Uh, even though it doesn't say it, based on an actual true true crime. Although personally, I wasn't aware of that what that was you you may do yourself because i certainly saw at least two or three people commenting on that the final scenes for me were very good apart from the final act to final the actual uh, finishing of the movie but some of the final scenes of build up were very very good but it all seemed a little bit disjointed to the rest of the film which you get you get sort of a flash a flashback as well which is useful but obviously it's sort of Perhaps could have come a little bit early. It might it might have helped to understand the film and make it flow a little bit better. And as I said, characterization. Apart from the young lead, I didn't really feel that invested in any of the characters. Yep. So there you go. Elements of a good psycho thriller, but for me, it didn't didn't totally work. But uh, not a total disaster. And some people do like it. So uh, have, have a watch. I wouldn't put you off watching it. I would say certainly. Uh, the first half an hour keeps you intrigued, then it does wander a little bit, but then the last uh, 15, 20 minutes uh, sort of liven up a bit. And uh, as you say, you get to the end, and you think, oh, right, okay, that's, uh, that's what it is. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, we get to watch this, say, I, won't, I wouldn't put you off having a go and having a watch of this. And it's uh, a little bit different, perhaps, to the UK, US stuff uh, as far as psychological thrills are concerned, which, if, if you like, a little bit different to what you normally get. And it, it's an okay effort, just just didn't quite didn't quite flow, didn't quite get it right. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please until we meet again. And last one thing though, please stay safe everyone. Bye for now.